Hey guys, Kakaras here, and this is gonna be uh, probably quite a long video about the Minecraft 1.3.1 update, and uh, it's gonna be fun. So there's actually a bunch of nice things this update. There are quite a few, so these are two worlds that we're going to be using, and I'm going to make a new one for the purpose of demonstration. Now, I'm not the best at doing these kind of <laughs> update videos, but we'll try because I actually like this update, and there are a couple of things that are very relevant to my interests. So, um, okay. Now, that hasn't changed. Let's see. Uh, okay, so now cheats are in single player. <laughs> okay, hold on. Damn it, shut up. Okay, so cheats are basically like single player commands. Um, not all of the multiplayer commands are in it, but there are some, so I'll show you what that does. Then bonus chest is another thing. If you're not on a hardcore difficulty, any other difficulty. You can spawn with uh, a little chest that has some neat things in it. Uh, I'll show you that. And also, there's a new world type called Large Biomes, which I've never seen, but I would assume the biomes should be large. Okay, so let's uh, make this world. And uh, while it's loading, I'll just mention some other things that have been added. There is now a demo mode, which is five game days for the people that don't have this game but uh, want to try it but that probably doesn't affect most of you unless you don't have the game and you do want to try it and you haven't <laughs> pirated it, hit it. Well, um, so you can do that now for five game days per world um, this is the starting chest as you can see you get four torches and a random variety of things now there's supposed to be food in it uh, or uh, apparently you're allowed to get food in it, but I've never actually gotten food. Uh, the two times that I've tried it, this would be my second time. Also, we spawned on a on an island, uh, and this is large biomes. So this is the fucking tiny ass biome. Um, but yeah, so I guess I'll show you the single player cheat thing. Uh, let's see. So one of the ones you can do is game mode uh, zero, Mr. Cluck. Except I don't want it to be zero. I want it to be one, Mr. Clucky Cluck. Dun da da da. Okay. So let's just see if we can find some land. I want to see. Maybe this is like realism mode. Although I don't know how realistic this is. So there's this sort of neat little island. That's uh. Quite melodramatic. Lots of sea, as you can tell. Like, for example, spawning on that island would suck massive dick because there are n no woods on the woods. So I don't know what you would do. It's actually kind of kind of dumb. That's like a water super flat map. So I guess the goal of of a of a world like this is to make a boat and swim around like a retard and uh, find some nice things but problem being that there is no wood other than my starter wood which I suppose if you turn that on it doesn't matter because you could just make a boat and then travel until you starve to death which is the way that Spanish people did it oh, I'm just kidding offend everyone in the first three minutes of the video actually I haven't <laughs> okay while we're flying Let's just keep flying. I'll mention some other things. So, adventure mode is now in the game, but you can only activate it using commands. And basically what adventure mode does is it doesn't let you build, you're not allowed to light things on fire, and you can't use buckets. But you're allowed to interact with uh, the environment and get things from chests. So that's adventure mode, and I, I'm assuming it'll be implemented properly later, but you can play it already. Um, the creative mode inventory has changed, I can show you that. So now it's organized slightly differently. It's a little bit confusing, actually. But 
so there's this, and then also now uh, you can search for items. You can be like, let's see, uh, what do you guys want? Let's see, book. See, it's quite effective. That's nice, I think. Uh, which way were we flying? Okay, let's go this way. Yeah, I kind of don't see the point of this actually. If, if at least you spawn on an island, maybe then it would be okay. Oh, I mean, we did spawn on an island, but an island that doesn't suck. Um, let's see. So, something, I wrote down multiplayer on my piece of paper. I don't know what the fuck I meant by that. I guess there was some sort of fixes for multiplayer. There were a lot of fixes. I didn't write any of them down because I don't care too much about them. Um, but there, there were a lot. You can find them on the wiki if you're interested in that kind of thing. Let's see. Yeah. Items on... Okay, well, I don't want to talk about any of these things, because... Okay, well, you can play land now, you see. So, um, you can, ta you can take your single-player world, and then if you're on a, a local network, or if you want to play with friends or something, you turn on your, your LAN, whatever, and then people can play locally in, in your world, I think. That's really neat to me. Um, there's supposed to be something about texture packs, but I actually don't know. Uh, oh, you can you can change snooper settings too. So like this is the stuff that that gets sent to Mojang, but I don't care about that at all. Let's see. Um, so trading is also in the game. I I'm sort of budgeting up what I'm saying, but trading is in and also emeralds, which are the currency. I don't. Know, <laughs> I'm sorry if this doesn't make any sense. And uh, you can just look it all up on the wiki and hopefully actually understand what the fuck's going on here. But, uh, so basically, in the, uh, Extreme Hills biome, I think, in one of the biomes, you can find emeralds, and they don't exist any in any other biome, and they're supposed to be as rare as diamonds in the biome that they do exist in. So, you can find emeralds, you find the emeralds, and then you mine the emeralds, and you have emeralds, and then you go up to one of these douchebags, and you're, hey, you're like, hey, uh, give me nice things, you say. I don't know what that does. What's the point of this? Okay. So you give him this, and then you're like, yay. And then he gives you this thing. But that doesn't give you anything, actually. I don't know what those do either. But let's see. So, and it's based on profession. So, like, this douchebag. Oh, see, this guy trade. Yeah, so you can also give other... Whoa. I think that means that it's like the trade was done. He's happy that I traded with him. So you can also trade douchebag stuff for their emeralds. Uh, which is quite convenient, I guess, if you have a lot of nice things. Is this guy also a guy? Yeah. So some of them give you emeralds, and other other people take emeralds for nice things. Uh, so you don't have to mine them, but you can. They are in existence. This village, I don't understand. Is everybody in this village? I, I'm, I'm not sure how I actually got this world, because I just had it, and uh, I renamed it Village World or whatever. But I didn't make... What the fuck are you? So this guy takes meat. Meat in his butt for emeralds. Apparently these th these NPC things have kids too. Uh, it's quite neat. I've never seen them. But there was... On the wiki, there's a whole bunch of info. And something about them being friends with iron golems, and the golems give them roses, and... Never seen any of this, and I don't think I'll be able to show that to you guys. But, see this guy, so you can give him... Oh, take this, and then get a bunch of bread, and it's like, no, 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 no. Maybe it's not by profession, actually, hold on, let's see what this guy has to offer. Yay, give me nice things. Oh, the gravel's texture. The gra the gravel texture has changed. This is a new gravel texture. Um doesn't look bad. I don't remember what the other one looked like, to be honest, but... So you could do that. Whoa, what the fuck? That's quite neat. Let's see, demonstration world. So this is this is going to be the bulk of the actual things. I'm sorry that nothing's really happened so far. So let's start with... Uh, uh, na -na 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 -na. Okay, so you get XP from mining ores, apparently. Like, they drop with the ores now. Uh, picking up smelted things, you get XP for... Oh, fuck. Whoops. Hold on. Uh, game, mo game mode... Zero, Mr. Clock. 
So as you can see, I actually have a little bit of XP now from that thing that I got. Um, whoops. What? Okay, so I don't. Here we go. See, I got some XP for that. Let's. Well, I'll put. I'll put five more in here for now. So uh, we'll come back to that. And I don't have any ores to mine or anything. But breaking spawners also gives you XP, and the maximum level now is level thirty. So some overhauls to the entire XP thing, which I never use. But uh, you can do that. Uh, writable books. So I'll show you. Oh fuck! I don't have. A, I didn't make a workbench. Perfect. Um. Whoops. Workbench. Da da. Sa da da. Okay. So, the way you make a book now is you take three of these things and then a leather, and any. It doesn't matter what the formation is. You can do whatever you want. Just go crazy. So this makes a book. This is a normal book. Uh, they used to make bookshelves. But if you take this and then in, in any way you put this thing, you can r make a writable book. It's called a book and quill. And then the way that works is you right click it and then you're like, uh, let's see. Everybody's subscribes to Mr. Block. Because he is so kawaii. Okay. And then you press like sign, uh, enter book title. Uh, okay. Oh, sorry. I don't know how you take the sign and close. And then that makes it like, oh, see, so it glows. And then you can read it and then you can't edit it anymore. And if somebody hovers over it, for example, you see? And in multiplayer, I suppose you can make like a whole nice things, um, and then people can read it and and, and so on. So you can do that. Um, these nice things are stackable now, which is I'm really happy about this. So you can stack signs and buckets now, as you can tell. Bucket. Okay. Uh, let's put these down. Basically, there's slabs now for every wooden thing. Every type of wood has all, its own slab. And I'm assuming there were no wooden slabs prior to this, but there are now, so no need to cry anymore. It will all be okay. So if you like making uh, wooden slabs, now that functionality has been vastly improved. Uh, you can t also put, you see this shit? Yeah, so you can put wood sideways now. Uh, and it's supposed to work the way you put other things sideways, like pistons apparently. So, ta-da! Ta -da. So now you can make uh, some nice things out of that, I'm sure. Uh, cauldrons are supposed to fill up during the rain, and rain water slightly leaks through leaves now. But it's not raining, as you can tell. So maybe if it starts raining, I'll show that shit to you. So let's see, if you throw a bunch of nice things on the ground, they stack on the on the ground, you see? So, so if you keep throwing a bunch of nice things, they all relatively stack. But, uh, okay. Let's see. Uh, hill biomes, or like normal hill biomes, or some some sort of hill biome. I'm not sure which one for sure. Uh, the hills are taller now, which is interesting. I, I suppose if you like that kind, if you're into big hill type of things. Um, cocoa beans growing jungle. I'll get to that in a second. Actually, we'll go to a jungle. Uh, this is a swamp. So they're not here, but but now you can make cookies really effectively, and you can like farm them and shit. So we'll see that in a moment. Uh, desert villages, I'll get to as well. Uh, desert temples, jungle temples, ender chests. Okay, so these are ender chests. You see, and uh, the way ender chests were, th these work through uh, any any realm. So Nether, uh, Overworld, or whatever Enderworld, and the normal world. And the way, see, so this one's empty. This one's empty. I'm just proving that it's not a magic trick. So let's see, I put, you know, some flint, like, duh, 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 right? And then it's accessible from everywhere now. Um, and this is the explosion proof. I actually don't have any TNT yet. Uh, but it doesn't explode. So you, you, when you destroy it, you get obsidian. And the way you craft it is you take a an eye of the ender or something the the thing that endermen drop and then you surround it with obsidian apparently 
But that's not how I made them, I just spawned them, so don't don't quote me on that. Uh, TNT is affected by difficulty, which I'll show you in a second, actually, with the TNT. Wait, do I have any TNT? No, I don't. So these are the emerald ores. This is what they look like. Oh, I suppose that's why I got them here. Let's see if these drop XP. Yeah, so you get XP from mining these nice things. So now the, you don't have to farm... Uh, monsters to level up, you see? It's quite neat. I actually quite like that. Whoops, stack that. Uh, you can put levers on ceilings as well. So let's make a nice ceiling here. Using green because neon green is a good color. And if you don't think so, you're wrong. Look, see, so you can ding dong, ding dong, ding dong. Uh, so that uh, that adds some very nice redstone functionality if you're into that kind of stuff. So I have some gravel. I was going to show you the gravel, actually. It's made of gravel now. Mm. Okay, so let's take this button. Ah, I already put a button. Okay. So now what you can do with dispensers is dispense minecarts and boats if there is the proper block next to them, for example. So you saw that, that works. Now if I put this thing here, um, uh, whatever, put that there and then put a boat in here and then what what you do is you click and the click and then boat, haha. -ha. Also boats were supposed to be fixed-ish. Like he, he suggested on the wiki that boats now work. Effectively, and they're not glitchy, and also these things don't break boats anymore, and you can just run through them. Also, he upgraded the speed. So you go quick, fast now, as you can tell. Um, where the fuck am I going? Okay. Yep. I'm actually just holding forward, so I don't... I do not quite understand what the fuck's going on. They do go a lot faster now, don't they? And if you break them, they give you back a boat as well. Okay, so what I wanted to show you as well with these things is that, for example, if I put down a bucket um, in here, you can dispense water now, you see? And then you can also stop dispensing it by, and it takes it back into the bucket. So you see, the bucket's empty. Uh, and then you can take it back in the bucket. Uh, same thing with lava, which is a bit dangerous, so... Skip, step back, citizens. You see? Um, so that's quite neat. Is that everything that you can do? There are other things, like I said. Oh, okay, so wooden plates are triggered by arrows now. It's kind of self-explanatory, I'm not going to show that. Just nobody gives a shit. Uh, stars are smaller and brighter, but it's obviously, obviously daytime. So I'll show that in a second. Let's see if we can find... A uh, nice little... Oh, okay, well, here. I'll give you the TNT. And I'll show you the TNT stuff. Uh, game mode. Mis oh, shit. Uh, one Mr. Clock. That's me. Okay. So, you have... If we go here... Where, where the hook's TNT? Is that it? Is that it? There we go. Da -da -da. Um... Let's see. And the way that the damage things work... Oh, whoops, I forgot to talk about these. I'll, I'll do that in a second, actually. So the way the way these things work... Uh, game... <laughs> you didn't see that. Uh, the, uh, okay. The way this works is that on Peaceful you can't die from explosions. Also, creepers are affected by this, except there's no creepers on Peaceful. But, so on easy it does half the old damage, on normal it does the same damage, and on hard it does a third more damage. Or something like that. So, okay, well I was on peaceful already. So let's see, for example, if I put this thing, I'll, I'll, I'll kill two birds with, with ten boners. Here, by blowing this up. Uh, so if I stand here, like, this should not kill me. What the fuck can I do? Yep. See? That's your fucking And that thing doesn't do a shit either. All good. Um, so that's that. Now, I'm gonna 
Pege the video and see if we can locate a jungle and or a desert village and or a desert temple or jungle temple which are basically in case we can't find them I'll tell you what they are the jungle the desert villages I assume are like normal villages but in the desert on desert themed um, it's pretty neat and desert temples and jungle temples are sort of well the jungle temple specifically is sort of like Indiana Jones style adventure party quest and then there's treasure at the end same thing for the desert one but it's more desert themed um, also, the people were making trailers for the, the update, and some of the trailers had this crazy-ass video of uh, the zombie pigman coming out of nether gates, but that wasn't in, like, the update list, so I don't know if that shit is legit, but that'd be scary, and you probably want to figure that out, because I couldn't, and I don't care, but you should figure it out. So, pausing the video. Okay, so, I haven't actually found- oh, well fuck, there's a desert village, but we'll get to that in a second. This is- this biome, uh, is a desert hills, as you can tell by this thing. Also, he said he added more stuff to the F3 menu, but, uh, so nobody cares about that. It, it looks similar, anyway. This is desert hills. This is one of the things that I said that the hills are bigger, and they are indeed bigger. You can tell. Look how it's bigger. It is. Um, so that's that. It's not pretty cool. Also, the stars, he said he made them smaller and brighter, and they are smaller and brighter, if I understand correctly. But that looks pretty nice, doesn't it? So, that's that one. Okay, let's go to the desert village. This is a desert village, and it's, uh... It's, it's a fucking village, basically, but it is... It is in the desert, and it is desert-themed, as I predicted correctly. Um, so you see you have these nice things. And now you have sort of a reason. Whoa! Then look, fuck. They have chests that have nice things. Apparently, I don't know. That must be new. Okay. So now you have a reason not to fucking keep their uh, so, yeah, so you give them for arrows, for example. J oh shit! Fuck your house, though. Bitch. Okay, look. So for example, see. You Whoa. Hey. So I could give this guy, I only have seven actually, but, yeah, oh, this guy, do you see, you can give him fish, f fisherman, anyway, so, that's that, in this village, and, uh, if I find it, I'm gonna look for a jungle temple or a desert temple now, I'm not sure how they look, uh, if they're supposed to be super, super secret or not, but, uh, we'll find out, I also need to find a jungle for you, so, pause the video again. Actually, I lied. I unpaused the video. That, that we were right, right there just now. Uh, but I'm gonna use this moment to bond with my viewers. Hello. My name is Mr. Cluck. What's your name? I don't give a fuck about your name. Sean. Anyway, thank you all for watching my video. Actually, though, I wanted to say a couple of things while we look for a biome that isn't flatlands. See, I didn't pick bigger biomes on this world, but the biomes are quite big. I don't know if that's uh that's a hack or what, but uh so that's that. Wait, what was I talking about? Alright, so I might be making a single player series, maybe. If you want that, you can tell me in the comments because I don't know, but I sorta of wanna start playing single player again because this looks fun as shit. That looks so fun, I mean look at it. Look at how fun this is. Look, there's like blocks. And, uh, I can write books, you know. I like writing books. See, maybe I'm starting to think now that we were just unlucky with the big biome. Because, look, there's a bunch of small pussy ass islands over here. So maybe in the big biomes, they were just more spread out because they are, uh, like, bigger biomes, you know? What the hell is that? Is that light? Whatever, it doesn't matter, I'm not gonna dig there. Uh, yeah, so I, I'm, I'm tempted to make a, uh, a single player series now. Again. Just for fun, and it would be sort of like a laid back. Watch me play, and I'll try to entertain you by saying stupid things. Type of series. Uh, so basically, all of my other videos, but if you'd want to see that, 
I may want to do it. And even if you don't want to see it, I actually may want to do it anyway. But because fuck the police, you know, just fuck it. But yeah, that's all I wanted to say. And if I find a jungle biome, I'll get back to you. And I found a jungle. Are you guys proud of me? I actually have to make a new world, but I found one. Hasn't been that long. It's only been maybe I don't know. Um, one minute or two. Anyway, these are the cocoa beans that I was talking about. You know? Uh And it said in the wiki that they grow on smaller trees. So this is a smaller tree. You see. I guess that one wasn't right, actually. Oh, fuck, I'm in creative, either. Um, but yeah, so they grow, and then uh, you can actually plant them back onto the tree. I don't know if you're allowed to harvest the wood and then do that, uh, or if it has to be a natural tree. But that's those are the cocoa beans. Uh, and this is a jungle. You see, there's another one here. and They're not that rare, I think. But... Look at how many hills there are. God damn. So this is some extreme hills. Let's oh, see, this is an extreme hill. Jungle hills, yeah, you see? So he made the hills bigger. Like, a lot bigger. You can tell. And, uh, it's quite nice. And uh, I'm assuming that there's not going to be any temples, but I'll check. Josh, to be safe. Uh, these kind of trees actually have a lot of wood. And I wouldn't want to live for in a, inside the jungle biome. At least I don't think I would. But, yeah, it doesn't look like there's a temple. But if I ever find a temple, I'll make a temple video. So you can all see them. Because it's not like any other people make Minecraft videos on YouTube that you could watch. Because that would be stupid. Because I already make videos. And my videos are better than everyone's. Yeah. Okay. So, thank you guys for watching. And that's everything that mattered to me. Wait, how does he say? Hold on. That's... That's everything that mattered to me. Philip DeFranco reference. Philip DeFranco, give me a shout out. I love you. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Okay, guys. I, I ended the video, but I forgot to mention the most important thing ever. I'll show it to you. Hold on. Game mode zero. Mr. Click it here. So, Mr. Notchman or whoever makes this game now, they did the best thing ever, and they removed the downward knockback when you're drowning. Don't, don't mind the background noise. I already opened the door, so now my body's not ready. But watch. Before, when you start drowning, you drown forever because you're dead. But now, look, oh, I can still not drown to death. So, that's actually really important. Because you would not believe how many times I've drowned. Dr drowned. Whatever. Thank you guys for watching for real this time. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, so... I managed to have it rain. We are on my server, by the way. So, with uh, Christopher Bear here. But I wanted to show you this, look, the leaves that actually do slowly drip through the water. You can't really tell on these trees, but uh, on one of these smaller trees, perhaps. You see, you can see the little droplets of water dripping through. That's pretty neat, I think. Um, and uh, this cauldron here is supposed to be slowly filling up. I don't know how slowly exactly, but... Uh, yeah. For real, uh, actually no, not for real, there's going to be one more thank you guys for watching after this because I forgot to do trip wires. Uh, even though I said I would, I would remember it, but I forgot. Uh, so, be back with trip wires in a sec.